Hi, Anthony. Thank you so much for uh, joining me today. So um, we've been following you, Fanny and myself, um, on social media for a while. And we uh, we heard of you through um, studying with Breathe Education um, and all your work on uh, diastasis um, and, you know, organ prolapse and everything. Um, and Fanny and I reached out to you not long ago and asked you if you could come and do a course for our staff. And we ended up deciding that we could do one of your weekend course and perhaps invite other uh, fitness professionals uh, in the course. And I thought it might be great to join on, you know, jump on a video with you and get a little bit more information about you in what the course is about um, and what what the takeaway will be from. Yeah, no, thank you for that. Um, you know, the, the, the key thing with this female athlete course, whether it's the Pilates edition or not, is that um, we can use the principles to um, help people with uh, antenatal, postnatal concerns, pelvic organ prolapse, stress urinary incontinence, uh, impact loaded exercises, as well as um, resistance loaded exercises, even pelvic pain. So I love using exercises um, to help people through that. I think fitness professionals are well placed to do that as well. And I love working together as a team. So, you know, this course is designed for health and fitness professionals. Um, for our particular course with the Pilates, it, it isn't, it's not like you have to learn how to do Pilates to do it. Um, if you don't do Pilates, I think you're going to get a lot out of it because number one, you get exposed to different types of training that your clients are potentially doing because lots of people do Pilates classes. So it helps to, to know what's out there and how it's done. But also, um, you know, a lunge is a lunge, a hip hinge is a hip hinge, a squat is a squat, no matter what position or type of exercise you're doing. So on the course, you'll be doing standing squats and lunges and step ups, um, as well as using the Pilates equipment to load it harder and harder and heavier and heavier. So we go from the general stuff that most people are doing anyway, and then we use the Pilates equipment um, to show how doing things a bit differently with the cueing, doing things differently with the thinking around the equipment, as well as around um, body weight movements, resistance bands, whatever people are using, um, how to be sensitive to those with pelvic floor issues, um, as well as how to improve the performance of people who, you know, feel like they're stuck and they want to do the harder things, but they don't know how to get there. So, you know, that's that's what the course is about. I just finished teaching um, last weekend uh, in Salt Lake City, and it was such a fantastic course. People had flown in um, from around the United States to come and do the course, and I'm still getting messages about how their week has been seeing clients and how much how much more freedom they have, how how much lighter they feel, less burnout, as well as how excited they are and how excited their clients are about um you know being able to explore movement and um and improve their symptoms uh so it's been really exciting to hear yeah and i think like you know on on the back of what you said you were saying you know for, for me as when, when i became a, a pilates instructor one of like something that was really scary for me is to get a uh, woman either pregnant or coming back after having a baby and telling me, oh, uh, you know, I have abdominal separation or I have, um, you know, um, I've had prolapse. And it's very scary when, when you don't, when you don't have the knowledge of how to help them, because then you feel like, do I wrap this person in cotton wool and just, you know, let them be. Whereas, uh, you know, we should really get them back into normal life um, and into being able to move freely. Um, so I'm really excited about that course because I feel like after doing it, I'll feel like I'm really confident in being able to help somebody and give them the tools that they need to go back into running or weightlifting or anything they want to do, right? Yes, that's entirely the point of the course. Um, so it will be exciting to take people through that. Um, you will be doing exercise if you want to, and it will push you to your limits. Like that's where the magic happens. Um, you know, the, the, uh, on, on the usual female athlete level one, we use heavy weight deadlifting, but, um, on this Pilates course, we're going to use the hardest Pilates exercises there are to really challenge people. And, and for people who have struggled to do a certain technique, I'm interested to see if they can get that technique, um, during the class. Cause you know, it's, 
it's fun to be able to push your boundaries and think of things differently. I think a, a lot of the pressure that people have um, as health and fitness professionals is they feel like they have to remember what to do if this person has this, what should I do? And if this other person has this type of problem, I've got to remember a different set of things for them. But I, I'd much rather, because my memory is not that good, I'd much rather work by the principles that applies to nearly all people. And then that way there's a lot less for me to remember. And I can help more people with the same process. And that's what I've been working really hard to do for the last, no, I've been a physio for nearly 26 years now, Nike. So it's been a while. So you do have a lot of experience. Um, and I think one, one thing as well that you and I spoke about when you were asking me questions to prepare your course is what kind of equipment we have in the studio and that you could use in training. And we, we're a, a fitness re, uh, reformer studio. So we have very heavy kettlebells. We have heavy weights. Um, so, so we do have a lot of equipment where I'm, I'm sure you could also show how to take this exercise from, you know, the mat also using, you know, heavy kettlebells and reproducing it. So I'm, I'm sure that if somebody is an Pilates instructor, they'll get so much out of this. Absolutely. And it's really helpful to know what happens in a Pilates studio as well. So many of our clients do Pilates. And if you've not done Pilates before, this is a great opportunity to see how people can be loaded up using Pilates. I myself am Pilates trained, um, but also how that applies, because what we'll be talking about is how this applies in a gym setting, in a, in a Pilates class setting versus a small group setting versus a one-on-one -on -one setting, um, and how this applies to people who love to do CrossFit, um, and how to change the usual, for example, physio exercises that happen in a physio clinic, how to think of those differently, how to think of your Pilates equipment differently, how to think of the gym equipment differently, how to run your classes differently. So um, yeah, there's a there's a lot that we cover in this course. That sounds like so much fun. I really can't wait. Um, and did you did you mention that there um, there is a um, special flash sale for um, anyone wanting to join this weekend as we do the video? Um, or I'm those... not sure. I'm not okay. sure. Um, that, was, that was Diane. I'll I'll post that. I'll post that in, in the notes. Uh, but Diane had organized a bit of a um special special oh, code um just for this weekend alone. So if you if anyone wants to sign up, just use it this weekend uh, because it expires on Monday. Okay. Uh, I guess there's a flash sale coming. I've been over here in America, so I've been focused yeah, on sorry. getting through my courses. And I taught a webinar last night, so I'll make sure that that happens. And um, yeah. Get onto the course. If people have any questions, they can always contact me about them. If you're a member of the public and you love doing Pilates, I think this would be fantastic. The course is not aimed at you. However, you will learn a lot. And I've had uh, interested members of the public come. For example, uh, for example, there was one course that I ran in Austin where a member of the general public came. And I asked her why she came. And she said, look, honestly, um, I'm getting 20 hours with a whole bunch of pelvic PTs, fitness professionals and coaches. Um, and that would be the cost of three, three to four half an hour sessions where she lives with somebody one-on-one. -on -one. She got like five times more value with a lot more people on a course. And she learned so much. She said, look, some of the anatomy stuff went over my head, but all the practical stuff I've walked away with so much. And, you know, she really loved it. So um, I've had I've had a few general public come on the courses without any issues whatsoever. So they're That's also welcome to come idea. too. Yeah, I had a client actually a couple of days ago asking me if if she could join and she's thinking about it. And I think you're right because that gives you a massive toolbox of yeah, and, and so many different people that you're exposed to and so yeah. many ideas and, and people, you know, when you're working in, in the, the practicals, believe me, the longest you sit in my class is about an hour. And that's probably for the consult, maybe one lecture before lunch on the first day. But otherwise, we're up and we're down and we're up and we're down and we're just doing stuff, you know, 20 hours on a weekend. Well, this one's not 20 hours. It's um, a little bit less, probably 16 hours on the weekend. So, you know, it's good fun. That sounds that sounds like so much fun. I can't wait. Um, and hopefully, um, yeah, we'd love to have all of you guys uh, watching this joining us. Um, yeah, that'd be a fun weekend. Thanks, Anthony. It's a great weekend. Thank you very much. And look, um, fly in if you have to. Um, it's always it's always a good time to catch up with people, and um, I'm really looking forward to teaching you in Sydney. Sounds great. Thank you.
Thanks, Nike.